such as cuttlefish, they are known as soggy midges because they have stripes like a real soggy midge of the blood. Yeah, it's really, really nice. You get to see some um, nice big sharks. It's mellow as well. You get to see some, some nice sharks. Everything looks very pretty. Well, I enjoyed going down. I always knew there must be a lost city of Atlantis, and now I've found it. it what was it like? It was really fun, and we saw these kind of uh, we saw um, we saw some their sharks, and we saw some fishes. And did you feel like a real researcher underneath the water? Yeah. It looks like we're approaching the coral reef. And probably. Looks like you're right, Professor. Wow, Captain, there must be hundreds of fish here. We went on it twice. I have to admit, we came round again. And I don't know how we did that, but we somehow, there was an open door, we got in and we were on it again. No, I mean, it, the technology in these things is incredible now. How, quite how you end up, you go in this capsule, you go underwater. I assumed the fish would all be made of Lego. And as I looked really closely, I saw that they were real. My son has been so excited about coming because we've never been to Legoland so it, it was it's just fantastic to actually get a chance to have a good look around anyway but the Atlantis voyage is just great because they really feel that they're you know that they're down there mixing with all the sharks and yeah he just he just loved it and, I, and the, I, he really enjoyed the bit where they say that they really need their help to come back up and they have to press the button to, to save the mission so it makes them feel like they're actually in charge of the submarine but yeah fantastic. I guess you're supposed to sit down, but my children were all the way around the outside, face pressed up against the glass, loving it. And thank goodness we pressed all them buttons at the end, otherwise we'd never have got back. When we got in there, seeing that you've got these kind of magnified, you know, windows in the front of the, of the submarine is amazing, because the kids just stick their heads in there and they don't, you know, they don't leave. And to get up, that up close to fish, and there's some pretty sizable sharks in there. You know, it's amazing. Like our eldest, when he first got in there, was like, "I can't look, I can't look," and then after two minutes, he couldn't stop looking. Wow. Yeah, it, it was just brilliant. Um, you feel like you're really underneath the water, um, which is quite alarming for about five seconds, and then you realise that you're really just underneath. I didn't think that our, our one-year-old would actually kind of really be aware of what was going on, but the face was pushed right against the glass, absolutely loved all the colours, all the sounds, and uh, Tommy as well, what other experience are you going to have that's gonna, where they're going to be able to go under the water and see those kind of animals? Looks like it's time to head back to base. Computer, prepare to service.